All right, I am so excited today to be here at the Social Media Mastery webinar. Uh, tonight, we have a super special guest that has came and is co-hosting tonight and will be sharing with y'all uh, the tips and the tricks that they have used to become six-figure earners in the home business industry. They are recognized by My Lead System Pro the biggest organization of lead generation on the planet that has been born more leaders than any other industry that we have here in the home in home business industry now steve and his wife lanacia are ranked number 10 on the all-time leaderboard in my lead system pro they rank number five in the last 90 days and i'm proud to say that because of their teachings and the fact that we use a system called learn, implement, and teach, I have now earned my mug from MLSP. And it says, who's awesome? And I'd like to say tonight that it's very dear to me. And when every time I drink from this mug and it says, who's awesome, I'm reminded of the people who helped me fulfill my dreams. Now, just recently, a couple of months ago, if you've seen my YouTube video, I was outside of a plasma center after I met a man named Jerico Cherry online, and he introduced me to a video for My Lead System Pro. I got on fire then, I refused to give up, and I went down to a plasma center and I donated plasma, put my arm on the table, and gave my blood so that I would be able to continue on with my dreams and my desires. And from that point, I have never looked back. And every Wednesday night, My Lead System Pro comes together a group of millionaires who have no other purpose other than to share with us their knowledge and their wisdom that they have gained throughout their career in the home business industry. And absolutely free, they take their time out like Steve and his wife is doing tonight to share with you and me what we can do to enhance our business and take it to the next level now if do them a favor turn off your facebook turn off your chat and pay close attention because it was these people's training one wednesday night that i paid attention to and the next day i started implementing that not long after that i signed up three people into my business and it was a result of me hitting the leadership board. I'm ranked number 15 and gonna climb and I will not stop until I get to number one. One thing about being number one, you gotta remember, you gotta always fight to stay there because somebody like me is coming up behind wanting that spot. So don't slip. And I'm hoping that tonight, after these people's training, that you'll get on fire and you'll get on your leadership boards and your MLMs or perhaps even join us and learn the, the tools that we use to make it happen in our business industry. So without any further ado, I'd like to go ahead and let Steve introduce himself and we can get it started. Hey, what's going on? I'm excited. I'm uh, I'm fired up about, about what's been going on uh, here Really, for for teams, really definitely been busy for 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 us personally, me and Lanacia, and of course a lot of people in MLSP. I mean, just a lot of people, you know, promoting, getting hitting different ranks. I mean, just a lot of things going on. I'm I'm just really really excited, you know, uh, uh, you know, Bubby, you definitely been 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 crushing it here, you know, over the last thirty days, you know, you know, getting your mug, you know, everybody wants to get their mugs, and and uh, and that's definitely a, definitely a milestone. For for your not just for MLSP but even for your your career in marketing is um, you know the biggest the biggest issue most people have that I've seen in marketing is that just, they just don't know where to start and they don't know what to do to get the goals or reach the goals that they want and so MLSP kind of really I guess you can say it's the um, it kind of it, it, it kind of breaks up that fog. You know, you join a business, and there's this, this big cloud right in front of you. you. Don't you can't you're just kind of just trying to feel your way through, and, and MLSP definitely makes a huge difference in trying to clear some of that fog out so you can get to your destination. And uh, uh, so so, Bubby, you know, congratulations. 
you know, on your, you know, accomplishment, you know, that's a, that's a big deal, you know, uh, guys, uh, to hit L1, to hit L2, just to really hit, hit any milestone in any business is, is a huge, huge accomplishment, and, uh, and just to be able to do that is a big deal. So, so what we're going to do really quick tonight is uh, just going to share some, you know, some real quick information on, um, you know, re really on what, what Lacey and I did, but how we got here. I think that's always an interesting story uh, of, of how we became uh, marketers, full-time marketers, um, with, with, with some level of success. I mean, there's people that we follow that, that I would probably say that have more success than we do, and, and that there are mentors, people who we follow. And uh, so I, I thought today would be you know, just a good opportunity to kind of give you guys – I know there's probably a lot of new people watching – and they're trying to figure out how can they get to those those big ranks, those big positions, making all those commissions and all that stuff. And I know that's what we all think about a lot. So, so I, I would definitely, I think, Lenacy and I will kind of kind of take you through a real quick journey on how we got started. I uh, was going to do a presentation, but you know, we're just going to keep it real tonight. We're just going to show you guys and, and let you guys fill you in on what's what's happening. But uh, uh, Lenacy, I know you that I've been talking. So, uh, go ahead, you know, go ahead and let everybody know. Uh, that you're here as well, live and direct also. <laughs> hey guys, sorry I had a, some technical difficulties <laughs> trying to get on, so um, I'm, I'm excited to be here and I mean I absolutely love MLSP and what it has done for us and to help us get in the position that we are today where we can stay, stay and work from home and take care of our family. Um, I mean that, that's huge. That's huge to be able to do that. Um, we take care of Steve's mom, our, our kids. We're here when they when they go to school. We're here when they get out of school. <laughs> if they need anything, left the lunch, whatever, you know, we're here. And I mean, I just thank MLSP for laying down the foundation for us to be able to do that. Yep. Absolutely. Absolutely. I, I mean, it's, um, and I, I was just thinking about that today. Um, um, you know, we have some other close friends of ours uh, uh, that that work in the industry. That um, you know, they, they they're now working from home uh, as a couple as well, uh, husband and wife team, power couple. And a shout out to Candace uh, and Javon. Uh, uh, but you know, guys, I just wanted to uh, uh, to kind of show you really what, what how it all began. Now, for me myself, um, I I started, I guess. In, in home business, 1990. I hate. I don't want to give my age here, but uh, 1998. Um, very interesting. Um, I remember working for a big company, and I was on lunch break one day, and I had to been in my late 30s. I mean, late 20s at that time, actually. And um, and this infomercial came on television. I remember it like it was yesterday. Uh, you know those big infomercials that you see at night on television. You know, um, you make money, whatever, whatever, right? So I'm, I'm in my, I'm in, I'm in the cafeteria, right, having lunch, and uh, next thing you know, I see this, and I, and I'm, I've been at that job at that time. I don't know, maybe four, maybe five years, and and I think I, since I was approaching thirty, I think a part of me was like, it's got to be more than just working every day. And uh, I think when you're in your early 20s, you know, you're like 20, 21, you're just fired up, you're excited just to be free from your parents and, you know, on your own, you got your own car, you got your own, your own place, you're, you know, you're having fun, you're doing all these cool things as, you know, as us young people do, right? And, um, but I think as I was approaching 30, I had to been, I don't know, maybe 28, maybe 29, and I'm going to work every day. And I think a part of me was like, there's got to be more to life than just going to work every day and working toward the weekend. And I saw this infomercial and, and they were talking about all that stuff, people working from home, making all this type of money and, and living their dreams. And, I'm, and I was like, you know what, that's what I want to do. That's where it all began for me. Um, I didn't join that business or anything, but that planted the seed in my mind of what we wanted to do. So fast forward. Um, you know, started uh, started a network marketing company. One, the first person that really pitched the MLM to me, I joined it because I was in the right state of mind. So I was looking for something to do. And uh, of course, shortly, you know, Lanacia got on board. You know, and so we we did a lot of different things. You know, offline marketing. This is what in 2000, 2001, 2003, so on and so forth. 
uh, just regular marketing meetings, um, you know, trying to bribe people to come to a hotel meeting. Uh, <laughs> you know, the whole, you know, some of you guys know what I'm talking about. And that's been around for a while uh, in terms of, you know, marketing. Um, so we did that whole thing. We never really had any major success at all. Um, we just never did. I was kind of an introvert in terms of, you know, I, I'm not the I'm not the guy that I'm going to go out to Walmart and Lenate isn't either. We're not going to go to Walmart and start, you know, prospecting people. Nothing wrong with that. It definitely does work if you are that per type of person that can actually do that. For me, I was never that kind of person. So we always kind of turn toward the internet trying to figure out different things that we can do to kind of help our uh, help our business, help us to get to where we, we were trying to go. And um, But, you know, we were always working, you know, working at our job, you know, raising our kids, and, uh, but we never really made any major money. You know, we might make 100 bucks here, a couple hundred dollars there, 50 bucks that month, so, something like that. Just enough to know that, that it worked. <laughs> the industry works. You can actually make money, right? We never made any big money, but just that fifty dollar check. You know, I got a fifty dollar check, or you know, for me bringing somebody in or selling a product or something that told me that hey, the industry does work, but we just weren't bringing in enough people to be like, hey, I'm going to put my job next next week. You know, um, so you know, we we try to do a lot of different things online. There was MySpace. There was what Friendster. Um, uh, there were some other social media websites that Lanace and I got on. I was kind of rambling here. I, and Lanace, you can kind of jump in if you need. Um, you know, we tried a lot of different things. Uh, no, never made any major money, guys. I mean, we didn't know how to market online. Um, I, I felt that I could talk to strangers more frequently online than I could offline. Because again, I was kind of an introvert. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not the guy that's going to go to the mall and try to stop people. As they're passing me by to see if they want to join a business or something like that, you know, you keep your business opportunities open. I'm not the guy, <laughs> you know. And um, so we kind of went to, we went online trying to figure out different things. We did a lot of things online, no success. Things didn't work. Um, I come from a era where if you're in a business, company gives you a website. Your job is to take that website link and just share it with everybody, and everybody's going to join. Man, that's the perfect strategy, right? You know, guess what? Don't work. <laughs> you know, um, in a perfect world, maybe so. I mean, if if we just had a website and a link and just shared it on Facebook and Twitter, and Instagram, and all these different websites, and everybody signed up, it'd be perfect. But unfortunately, it doesn't work that way. So, fast forward. Uh, I, I want to say around. 2000 and I think uh, and again we that was pretty much our story working our jobs raising our kids uh, trying to do businesses different businesses online and offline no major success just a little bit you know hundred bucks fifty bucks you know something like that nothing to really brag about but uh, no major income um, fast forward to 2011 uh, was a little frustrated guys a little, a little a little frustrated, a little frustrated to say the least, um, to the point to where I was about to throw, you know, just about to throw the towel in. You know, <laughs> I was done with MLM, network marketing, all that stuff because it just felt like I was doing more work and not getting the result back based off of the work that we've been putting in, putting in for years. Um, so fast forward to one day I'm at work. And um, had some off time, so, you know. Uh, had, you know, I was a corporate trainer for, uh, for for basically for T-Mobile, and uh, didn't have a class that day. So waiting to go home from work, and so I was sitting down at my desk, and and I said, you know what? I really want to do some more stuff online. I kept seeing people on Facebook making all this kind of money, doing all these different types of things. You know, I'm like, how do you make? How do you? My my question then, before I found MLSP, was. How in the world can you make ten thousand dollars a month or more from home on your laptop? How do you do that without going on, without going to some training meeting, hotel meeting, just doing everything from home? That was the number one question that I wanted answered. So uh, during that time, this is um, fall time, around the fall uh, two thousand and eleven, um, and. So I, instead of looking for a company, I think that's the biggest problem. A lot of people are looking for that company, 
at that point, I finally started asking the right questions. I wasn't looking for the right company to join, some MLM. I was trying to find the how-tos. How can I make $10,000 or how can I achieve this type of success? So during my research, I kept finding all these top leaders, you know, Michelle Pesca-Salito and Diane Hoffman and Tracy Walker, Cedric, all these, all these big names, right, that I kept seeing online. And one thing they had in common, this little, this little icon, you know, it, this little icon was always on their, their blog, this little thing right here. <laughs> and I'm like, what is that? I keep, I keep seeing this little, this little thing, MLSP, on some of their blogs because I'm checking these guys out. These are obviously top Internet marketers. So I'm trying to figure out what are these guys doing that I'm not doing, you know, I've been, you know, some of these are some of these people are new. They just started like a year ago, and they're hundred thousand dollar earners. You know, what are they doing that I'm not doing? And and so I finally clicked on some link. You know, I had a link and had, had you know had this right there on there, and I clicked on it and watched this presentation about how I can generate more leads on Facebook. Blew my mind, and I went home and I told Anasia, and I said, Anasia, I found this website and it got all this all these trainings on how to do this and how to do that, and it's all like in one place. And she just got, she got fired up about it. You remember, you remember that day, Lenacea, when that happened? Yeah, you know, it, it's, when, you, when you go back and you think about it, it's kind of like a math problem. You know, when you're in school and you're doing, I think it's fractions, and they're like, you know, you have to find a common denominator so you can solve the problem. Well, that's what we were looking for, you know. We thought like everybody else thought is you have to find the right company. If you find the right company, then, oh, I'm going to be a millionaire. <laughs> that's it. I, I quit my job. But that's not the case because, I mean, we we used to post in different forums and groups and things like that a long time ago before the Internet was, like, the thing to do. And, I mean, we had a little success, not a lot, a little. But if you think about it, from back in the early 2000s to now, the Internet has matured a lot. And there has to be something, or there had to be something to where if we're doing some stuff, we're getting a little success. These people are doing the same thing, and they're getting a lot of success. What is it <laughs> that, what am I missing? What are we missing in this equation? And um, when Steve showed me that, it was like, oh, that's it. Because we were doing the wrong things. We were doing just like every other business told us to do, and which was market our link instead of marketing ourselves. And so once we found that out, once we learned that from MLSP, that's what helped skyrocket our business and really taught us how to market online so we can be like some of these gurus out there. Yep. I mean, it was um, it was it was pretty simple, guys. So, so again, this isn't really a pitch, but you know, this is just to, just to let you guys know what we did. So, so we found MSP. Had you know, you guys are already familiar with it. Some of you guys are definitely already connected with with Bubby here as well. And um, and so we started looking at going. I started going over a lot of the trainings. And keep in mind, we were still working, guys. You know, and Ace is still working at her job. I was still working at my job. And uh, so we spent a lot of time, you know, just looking at a lot of the webinars. I wasn't really implementing anything at that time uh, other than just, just really just watching and really just getting my mind blown on I've been doing it all wrong. I have, you, you know, I had a lot of light bulb moments like, man, I, didn't, I, I was doing it totally wrong. And, um, and so I wasn't, at that time, I, I wasn't involved. We weren't involved in any businesses at the time other than MLSP, just learning. I wasn't sharing it with anybody. Just we were just just checking all the information out. I mean, we were really just being students, just trying to absorb a lot of this information from Rob Four and all these different people that I, we, were, we were following. And this was, I think, it was June of June of 2012. Keep in mind, I got involved. I first saw MSP first on, I think, it was around September 2011, and around June 2012. Um, you know, weren't doing any business, but in June 2012, I we found a business that we or an affiliate program that we wanted to start promoting, and so we were like, hey, we've been learning a lot of this stuff from MLSP, and 
And to keep in mind, guys, we weren't doing any businesses. It, it was just something that we were doing on our own time. And so I said, hey, let's implement a lot of this stuff that we started, that we've learned from MLSP in this program. Just see what happens. I mean, what's the worst can happen? You know, well, the worst that happened was 90 days later, we both quit our jobs. All because of the, I guess, the strategies, the tips, the things that we learned and implemented in our business from what we learned from MLSP. Um, that's where it all began. And, and so what, what did we do? specifically. Um, I know a lot of you probably want to know, okay, I, you're, you're probably new in some business or some opportunity or an affiliate program, and maybe you're, you're just promoting My Lease System Pro. Um, whatever it is that you're trying to do online to make commissions, the one thing, the one that, I guess the one thing that made the difference for us was branding. We decided to create videos. So, documenting what we were doing or what we were about to do okay so we started making videos on on just everything re re revolving around our business we made videos on uh, why we joined our business uh, we made videos on uh, and keep in mind keep in mind it wasn't a pitch video it wasn't a commercial it was this is why I joined this business and because that's your personal opinion and we're pretty nosy as human beings. We always want to know what other people are doing and why they do certain things, right? So get people, people, you know, that's something interesting. So if you're thinking, well, I want to make videos, but I don't know what to say. You know what's really interesting? Make a video on why you join your business. That's pretty interesting. I don't watch that. I don't care what business it is. If you made a video and sent it to me and it's why you joined that particular business, I didn't say a pitch video. I said a video on why you joined the business, okay? I would watch that because that's interesting. And guess what? A lot of people feel the same way. So we made a lot of videos like that. We made a lot of uh, just different training videos. Um, kind of give you an example really quick is I remember we were in this business, right? Nobody was really making any videos uh, of the business itself. Every, every, everybody, all they were doing was just making content on join my business, buy my product. That's, that's all we saw. Until I say, you know what, I'm gonna make some videos on on just, just how to do the business, how how to operate your back office. You know, I made I remember I remember making a video, a real quick five minute, six minute video on just what the back office is all about in that particular program. Nobody had that online. Yeah. <laughs> so back I just videos are old. Yeah, I mean it was perfect, right? So I made a video, okay. You know, hey, obviously you're new, welcome aboard. This is what this link tab does, and this is what this tab does, blah, blah, blah. I put that video out there, it just went crazy, right? And not to, not to mention the people that were already in the business, a lot of prospects. And what happened, guys, I started getting calls and emails and people signing up all because they wanted to join us because we had training. We, we, we presented ourselves as experts. So this, you know, I remember a guy called me up. He said, yeah, my buddy, man, was was telling me about this business, so I started doing some research, and I kept seeing a lot of your videos on, on YouTube, and, and and I was like, I don't know if I want to join my buddy. I want to join you because you obviously are an expert, so you can answer all my questions or whatever questions I might have. You, you seem like the type of person that can answer them, and my buddy, he just joined like yesterday, and he doesn't know anything <laughs> about marketing, and, and you seem to know, and at that time, guys, I didn't know a lot about marketing, but I had this. And so a lot of what I was learning was coming from my lead system pro. So even though I did training videos on how to like generate leads or do do this trick or whatever from webinars that I saw at MLSP, and then they'll watch one of my videos that I did about that particular strategy, and they think it's something that I made up. But I didn't make it up. I just actually copied what I learned from my lead system pro. So I started to what you know really that whole term attraction marketing. It really started to to uh, uh, to materialize just just from doing that alone. So, so if you're new in business, you know whether you're promoting an MLM, uh, uh, an affiliate-based business, or maybe your own product or service or whatever, and you're trying to do it all online, guys, I'm, I'm gonna tell you the number one thing that will make all the difference in the world for you. And there's all kinds of ways of doing this. Um, is really just branding yourself, putting yourself in front of whatever your product is. 
Um, that's really what it's all about. And once you learn that that whole concept of you know putting yourself in front, because remember when when it comes to the internet, guys, people are very very skeptical. So what you got to realize is you got it's it's not about your product and your you know people are so detailed in terms of the data of what they have. You know my product does this and it comes with. You know, it only has one calorie, and it only does this, and it has this, that, and the other thing, and the blah blah this, and the blah blah that, and the, you know, the flux capacitor does this or whatever, <laughs> whatever it is, right? You know, it, guys, all that stuff doesn't matter. You know, to a certain extent, you know, when once someone's interested in what you have to offer, then absolutely, that's when all that all that data and all those you know features come into play. You know, but. Uh, but what you want to do first is you got to get them to know, like, and trust you first online. Because remember, you know, we, you know, if you're in a, if you're in an MLM, um, or even sometimes even an affiliate business, yeah, you know, they all say, yeah, we're all one family. Yes, we are all one family. However, but our biggest competitor are other people in that business. So you got to set yourself apart from everybody else. So the prospects that are out there fishing for sponsorship will find the people that seem to have, you know, that edge, that seem to have that, um, the, the information or the answers. And that's really the game, guys. If you appear online to have all the answers, people will come to you because they have all the questions. Yeah. And that's all you really got to do is solve problems. And once you do that, once you learn that process, and MSP definitely makes it easy because there's so many answers and so many things that you can share to help um, fix those problems that people have in their business and it really just in general um, it, it really does make a big difference but but again that's pretty much how we got here that's how it all started was just from branding uh, using social media videos um, to really help and of course MSP has a ton of stuff in the back office to really show you how to start brand, brand, you know, how to brand yourself how to use a lot of different strategies you know, and uh, and guys, it, it definitely does work. I know, Bubby, we were talking uh, just right before the call. You know, he was using a certain strategy, um, you know, with some images that create attraction because it's different and it set him apart from everybody else. Right. And I, I'm pretty sure, Bubby, when you did that first image, they were like, what in the world? I bet they were like, I've never seen him do anything like that before. What What is he doing? I'll share this with you that I learned that technique from these two people. I was in a Wednesday night webinar like I shared with you earlier for those that are just coming in and they gave me a website or they taught about websites and I still have right here if you right here on my desk where I go every day to them websites and I create pictures and images for people now it doesn't take a half an hour I will I will get in a conversation with somebody and when, it come, when the conversations come up, well, who are you with? And they say, it worked. I said, well, do you have a picture? So they'll message me a picture. I take that picture, run over the photo funny real quick, put it inside of a, uh, a billboard that looks professional or over a hospital, and it looks like it's in New York. And I send it right back to them, and they go, how did you do that? And I say, I learned that on our Wednesday night webinars that are free. Uh so won't you come join us? And they did, and they sign up, and wow. I got my book. <laughs> it's that simple, people. There's no tricks to it. There's no, there's, there's no uh, magical formula to it. it. This is all it takes. You wrote. I've wrote down a couple of notes here that Steve said. The first thing Steve said was number one. They had to ask the question: How is everybody else doing it? They didn't ask the question, what's everybody else doing? Because by the time you get to what everybody else is doing, you're a day late on, on, the, on the boat. Mm -hmm. They needed to know how everybody's doing it, and they needed to educate themselves. And that's, one of the, that's what My Lease System Pro is. It's not a business. It's an educational platform. And the second thing I wrote down that Steve shared was that they branded themselves. And I didn't realize at the time that that's what was happening with me. I've got 61 videos. I got four, uh, 51 subscribers to my videos in two months. I'm almost getting one subscriber a day. 
Why? Because my mentor shared with me, and this, and get ready to write this down, because I, I do a thing with money signs on my on my slides. When you see the money slide, you need to take a note, because this is a note here. <laughs> my mentor would tell me, what, and I just typed it in the, in the chat box for y'all. What is your marketing question of the day? What do you need answered, Bubby? And I say, I need this answer. He goes, good, go find out the answer to it and let me know when you got it. And I'm like, well, that ain't no help. So I go research it and I'd come back excited. I finally figured out how to put the Pinterest tab on my Facebook fan page. And he said, go make a video about it. Mm -hmm. And then it was go make a video about it and go make a video about it. And, go, and without realizing it within a month, I had branded myself as a go-to person, somebody with the answers. And that's what Steve is sharing with you tonight is that the first step they took was to brand themselves. Well, the second step, the first step was to figure out what everybody, how are they doing it? And then, then they branded themselves as the authority simply by finding out the answers to their very own questions and making a video about it. Yep. It's not a mystery. It's not a mystery. That's all I have, and I just appreciate both of y'all. <laughs> that's that's awesome, Bob. I mean, I mean, you hit it right on the head. I mean, just just being the authority figure makes a huge difference in your overall attraction, because that's really what this is all about. It's about getting people. It's really <clears throat> providing solutions. You want to be a person of solutions, and, and and a lot of you saying, "Well, I don't really have a lot of value to give." I, you know, what do I know? Guys, I'm telling you, some of you guys are on a webinar right now. Okay, maybe maybe your first time being on a webinar, maybe your second time or whatever. There's a lot of people that don't even know really what a webinar is. Okay, so <laughs> make a video about what a webinar is and how it can help you in your business. I'm telling you guys, uh, you know, and I and I'm really not joking, guys. I'm really serious when I say that. I mean, there are so many people, and and why am I? And Lanacy, she's shaking her head because she knows because we deal with it every day. Because we deal with, there are a lot of people, guys, that are new to this whole industry. You know, that join it every day. A lot of people don't know how to copy and paste. A lot of people don't know how to upload a video to YouTube. A lot of people don't know how to even sign into Facebook. There are so many things that you probably know how to do that you don't even think about twice about that you have value that can help somebody else in their business. Every time you learn something new in business, you know, document that and share that with other people. That's how you look up, like, you know, like Bubby said, you know, hey, I got 50 something videos of stuff I've been trying to, you know, I'm finding certain things out and I just make a video about it. Now that that content, I can use that to help somebody else, which brings more attraction to me long term, you know, because, you know, videos, they always deliver. Hey, hey Bubby, they, they deliver the same message. They never get hungry, they never get tired, they never go to sleep, you know, <laughs> they, 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 they're always open. So no matter what happens, you'll always have that content to be able to help a lot of people, you know, for years to come. I know me and Lanace talk about it all the time. We still get enrollments and sign-ups from people that saw a certain video that we made like three years ago, you know. So, and it, but only it took me one time to make that video. Yeah. And I one. think too, a lot of people when they get into business and they start doing their business they forget that they were once new and they forget that when they first started that business they were terrified because network marketing is not for everybody I mean even like just for me example when I first started it's like you know you don't know what you're doing you don't know what you need to be doing you can barely log into your back office <laughs> you know change your profile and all that kind of stuff doing those types of videos logging into the back office or whatever program that you're doing like she said copy and pasting the simple things and you doing a video about that and people are going to do research I mean that's the nature of today People see something, they do research. I mean, before we go by our computer, we're looking up and see, okay, what's the reviews, what's this, what's that? They're going to do their research. If they see some type of post, they're going to go to uh, Google, they're going to go to YouTube, probably the, 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 the first two that they're going to look at to see, okay, why is this, why are everybody going into this? Is this going to make me money, whatever? And if they see your video, 
and they're show, you're showing them how to log into the back office or change your profile or even just how to upload a video, copy and paste, whatever it is, then they'll be like, okay, this person seemed like they knew what they're doing. So if they know what they're doing, I need to be connected with them. I need to sign up with them. Yeah, this person, I saw their link somewhere, but this person knows what they're doing and I want to be connected with them. That's right. So remember, don't forget about when you first got started. Go back and do those videos. You wanted to say something, buddy? I, I, I just agree with what you're saying. Is is every day I meet somebody that doesn't know when whenever I'm talking to them, like, well, where's your fan page? Because I don't know if everybody on here knows that you can put a link on your profile page to your business page so that when somebody's researching you, they go to your profile page, they see, oh, you work over here, so they click on the link and it takes them to your business page. Now, I go to people and I see their profile and they don't have that. And I say, well, where is it at? And they're like, well, it's over here. And I'm like, well, I can't find it. Copy the URL for me and put it in the box so I can go see. Well, how do you copy it? Well, what do you mean? How do you, you don't know how to copy your URL? So guess what I need to go do? I need to go make a video about how to copy and paste something in the message or in a, in, in a post. And and she's she's absolutely right. You all have knowledge right now in a in your field, and like they both shared, don't talk about your product. Talk about why you, what makes you special, what made your company special that attracted you to it, and make videos about your company, like she said, your back office and, and other things like that. And what happens is, exactly what she said happened to me with a sign-up where they said, well, my friend wants me to sign up under them, but I need to be under you because you know what you're doing. <laughs> I got both of them though. I got both of them. <laughs> I told, I told her. I said, "Well, if you know, that's just the way it is." They, they both got. They both came up under me. They were, yeah, they were with it works too, and and they're doing good. They're, I've, I've taught them how to use the funnel lizer in the back office of my lead system pro to promote their. Uh, primary MLM which is it works and when I get through here I got to meet with somebody that works with it works and just show them a video that I've already made yeah that's what they're talking about yep content content guys to sum it all up is content is king and, and, and really you know when you when you look at the internet and we look at social media I think we're the internet is in a very interesting place now uh, when it comes to social media, um, if you it kind of, kind of give you, give you an example, you, you take a river. We've all seen those wildlife shows where you know you got a river and you got the salmon that are, that are swimming upstream and they're just jumping trying to get to the to the uh, what do you call it the, the mating ground or whatever, right? And uh, um, and you got the bear that's there in the middle and he's just catching all catching fish here. <laughs> Well, well, just imagine if you're a fisherman and you're on the side of that, you know, side on the bank, you're on the bank of the of the river, and and you have a big net. Let's just say your net is full of content, just different videos, audios, pictures, just different things that, that are branding you as an expert. And if you cast your net out in the water, how much how much fish are you going to catch? So the more content you have, i.e., your net. The bigger your the bigger the net that you have, you know that Bubby say he's got like fifty something videos. So the more content that you have, people are and, and, and just imagine the, the people that are fish. Imagine those are just people that are searching around. Because remember, for every opportunity, um, there are people right now as we're speaking on YouTube, on Google, on on Pinterest, on Instagram, researching information, on Facebook, researching information about that opportunity right now. They haven't made a decision who they're going to join or if they're going to join anybody. They're just checking stuff out. Now, some of those people are going to find certain individuals who they're going to relate to, and then they're going to join those individuals. Um, 
And so when people say, well, hey, Steve, I've been promoting a lot all, you know, for the past month. I've been sharing my link on Craigslist and sharing my link all over the place, but nobody's signing up. I said, well, no. I said, I'm pretty sure some people have already signed up. They probably just haven't signed up yet. <laughs> because you don't have any content. So somebody probably saw your post on Craigslist. You just had, like, something you said, and you put your link. But nothing about you, no picture, no image. Nothing of value. Just sign up and see what this does. Well, they probably looked at that and might be saying, that's interesting. They clicked on the information and said, hmm, that's even more interesting. Let me do some research. And then they go to YouTube. Then they go to Google. Then they go to all these different other websites. They see me certain individuals. Like, hmm, maybe I'm going to join this person because he seems to know or she seems to know what they're talking about. And then they wind up signing up with that person. But you were the first person that exposed them. So when people say, well, nobody's signing up, I said, no, I disagree. I'm pretty sure a lot of people have signed up. They just didn't sign up with you because you have no content. You have no net full of Damn. content out to catch those people looking at the information. Damn, people. Damn, people. Damn, people. Listen to me. <laughs> if your pen is not running out of ink, you done fell asleep. That man, that what he just shared with me, and you, oh my God, content equals your fishing net. The more content you have out there, the bigger your net. The bigger your net, the more fish you'll catch. You can be a man on the side of the ditch with his little cane pole out there, or you can be the one, like he said, out there where the bear's catching all the fish, throw your net out there and catch a mass load. But Steve, that that's something there. That that's something there. That's going. I's going on a picture tomorrow. Off tonight, as soon as this is over with, and I'm going to promote that statement. That, that's powerful stuff right there, people. If you didn't write that down. <laughs> well, hey, uh, well, hey guys. I mean, but that's what we kind of wanted to share. You know, you know, I have this conversation a lot. On, on, I know even Lanacia, we have this conversation a lot, and. Um, but I thought it would, you know, be good to kind of because people I get that question all the time is you know how how do we start and where did it all begin? Mainly, it really began with my lead system pro. I mean, we had already had some experience in the industry uh, in terms of talking. I didn't have to get my mind right. I know sometimes they're new and they got to get their mind right about business. So my mind, our mind was already right. We just needed the the marketing savvy. Okay, and and once we got that, things just took off. So people need to learn it. So so I'm, I'm looking at some of the names here. You know, uh, you know that are watching. You know, we got Dave, Mark. You know, uh, several other people here. Heather, Jim. Uh, I have time to name everybody, but you know, everybody learns at a different pace. So if you see other people doing more or maybe not as fast as you, hey, I'm telling you, everybody learns at their different speed. You know, the main thing is take action. Take action. And don't stop the activity. Uh, be married to the process, not the results. Okay? Um, that's the main thing. Be married to the process. Start creating content. Constantly promote your content. Remember, promote you. You know, um, the bigger your brand now, you know, and, and they kind of give you, so what does that all mean for us now? Um, because we built our brand, we our number one product has always been since day one after joining MSP. Our number one product on the shelf has been Lanacia and Stephen Rachel. That's our number one product. Okay. Uh, so now when we join a business or want to promote whatever, because of our name is attached to it, a lot of people will take a look at it or take it seriously. And, and a lot of people will buy. And, and guess what? A lot of people do buy. Um, that's really what you want. And, and what, what I see so many people do is they focus so much on their business and the company name. Nobody knows who you are, but they know the company. And, and, and then you wonder why your sales aren't where they need to be. Is because they can join anybody that's in the company. But people, especially network marketing, people don't join businesses. They join people is what they join. 
So, you know, when we, when we pull out our wallet, guys, and we take out our, our credit card, it's not because of the company does this and has that or whatever. It's because, you know, of the relationship. It's because we buy on emotion. Okay? We don't buy on, on what the, this does, that, that, other thing. We buy on emotion. Purchasing is an emotion. It's emotion attached to and a lot of times it's getting involved in this business to hear some pain that I'm going through in life. You know, or I'm buying this product because it's going to solve this problem that I'm having with whatever. It's always some kind of emotional attachment. There. And, and, and so what you got to do is, since emotions are to you and me, you got to present yourself. So, so, so hey, buddy, that, that's I mean, I go on and on and on about, you know, about when it comes to branding. That's really what it's all about, and and I just want everybody that's watching this tonight is to, you know, look at yourself as the number one product. Remember, you don't want to be the hunter in the woods trying to shoot the deer. You want you want to become the hunted. You want people coming after you. Mm -hmm. and guys, it's a it's a much different conversation when people are calling you on that. Versus you calling, trying to call people. It's a totally different situation, a totally different conversation, okay? And it's a different feeling. But the way that you get to that, get to that point is creating content, promoting yourself first, and the value that you bring to those people by solving whatever their issue is and building those relationships. And, uh, and following Bubby, he definitely knows what's going on. I'm telling you guys, he definitely on the right track. He's been on one. And that's just the beginning. And he's doing webinars. So he's the prime example of someone that is is taking advantage of what he's learning and putting it into play. Okay? That's I already know. You know, where where he's going and a lot of people that are following. So follow follow him, I'm telling you, follow the leadership, follow what you see other leaders in MLSP do, and it'll definitely make a huge difference in your business. Uh, uh, that's it. And Lacey, anything you want to do before we close out? Yeah, I do want to add to um, that's why MLSP is so dear to our heart and that's why MLSP is so important because you can learn so much from MLSP and then you can return that favor and put that content out into the world so other people can learn that information as well. So you have an unlimited supply of knowledge with MLSP because just like all of us, we think we don't know anything. We think, oh, I don't know, you know, I don't know what to do. I don't know, you know, um, I don't know how to do this. I don't know how to do that. I don't have any knowledge. Well, you have it all right there with MLSP. So use MLSP. Get back there. Learn all the different strategies. You know, start with one. Do that. Teach it. Just by you teaching that, you'll attract more people to you, and they will want to. Even if you're not talking about any business. They're going to want to know what you're doing so they can join you because you have the knowledge. That's right. That's right. That's, 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 some, that's some good stuff there. That's some gold they dropped tonight. Uh, I want to share this too. Is that another member of MLST, Ray Higgin, had made a comment that said, Your notes are uncashed checks. Now, the notes that you took tonight is an uncashed check for you. You can take what you've written down tonight and just make a two-minute video on how to produce content because you took the note. And I'm gonna tell you something. I'm not when when everybody was congratulating me on my mug and in the group, and I was like, "Yeah, I'm happy I got the mug," but uh, there's a car at the end of this road that I'm trying to get to, you know, level seven, and I've got one, two. A five subject. That's this one. This one. What is that? Uncashed checks. These are notes, and I turn them into content, and I make my net. But I, Steve, that was awesome. I make my net bigger every time I write a blog report. Every time I write or do a video, I make my net bigger. If you you gotta gotta start sometime. You gotta start sometime. Now you heard what they said. It didn't happen overnight for them. They struggled for a while. 
the key thing there though is number one they kept going number two they started asking the right questions number three almost every person that you know in internet marketing has a foundation in my lead system pro will you make ten thousand dollars magically overnight no we, we don't promote that at all because we don't know how hard you're gonna work but we can promise you this if you apply yourself to the principles of learn implement and then teach you can't help but be successful people you cannot help but be successful if you listen to the teachings of these men, men and women like this right here who's came and just donated their time to you today and these are six figure earners these people make a lot and they were here out of the graciousness of their heart to share their time with me and you and I just want to say a special thank you if you look in the cart you'll see a button uh, it's a 10 day test drive for ten dollars if you don't feel that accomplishing your dreams or your vision is worth ten dollars that's fine with me uh, I'm still here to help you. This this webinar will continue to go on and be here to benefit you. Uh, the Miley System Pro webinars are free on Wednesday nights, so you can join us there. Uh, you can click the cart though and go watch the free video. I'm a brother in arms now, and go watch the video, absolutely free, and and see what we're talking about and what we've shared with you tonight. And I'm just blessed, and that's all I've got. Any last words from y'all? Anybody got a question y'all want to share with in the chat? With anything y'all have a question for these two amazingly wonderful people? Well, just one more minute. Well, hey, buddy, I just want to say thanks for having us. Um, uh, I guess I'm Thank okay. You. Let's make sure I was Thank you. Me. Yeah, thanks for having us, and uh, you know we're we're always excited to be able to help. And, and, and share some, you know, share some knowledge. Let, let people know. Say, hey, we're we, we all come from the from the same spot. You know, we're, wow. we all we all were new at one point. We all didn't understand. We all were like at one point, like, man, this stuff is confusing. What do what with the what the who and how and when? <laughs> you know, it it can get a it, it. But you know what? You know, when you learn something new, uh, there there's always a challenge there. It doesn't matter what it is. If you're learning how to drive, if you're trying to take your real estate, get your real estate license, or what, whatever it might be, there's always something that 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 is challenging that's worth something. So what you need to do is, is definitely uh, definitely get your do your trial. Uh, I even hate to say trial, just get involved and 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 and, and learn. I'm telling you guys. You know, it doesn't matter what you're trying to do in life. If you if you want to be a plumber, if you want to be a lawyer, a doctor, a school teacher, if you want to be in that profession, you have to learn certain things. You got to possess certain skills and, or learn certain skills. And the exact same thing is here. So if you want to become a professional marketer where you can make tens of thousands, hundreds of thousands, millions of dollars, you know, online at the stroke of the key on your keyboard, you got to learn certain skills. And anybody can do it. It's just a matter of are you willing to learn and implement what you're learning and then teaching others to do the same exact thing. So if you're, if you're willing to do that, you know, sky's the limit. You know, so uh, an MSP for a lot of people is the start. It's all about the training, guys. So I encourage you, start your trial. Uh, lock ons with with Bubby here, you know his team, the leadership here in Miley System Pro, and uh, we'll we'll definitely help do everything that we can as a community to give you the knowledge, you know, to help you to to really achieve your dreams and what you want to do. But remember, knowledge is just knowledge, it means knowledge nothing knowledge. unless you apply it. Okay, <laughs> you can learn anything, but if you don't apply it. Doesn't mean anything. Doesn't mean so make sure you apply what you learn, guys, and hey, and we'll see you at the top. My closing note is this: Remember, you cannot ever manage time. It's gonna go by one second at a time, with or without you. All you can hope to do is manage yourself in that time and take advantage of every second you got. I'll see you Sunday on the Social Media Mastery where I'll be teaching some more on how to establish your authority in your field, increase your revenue, and get up on your leadership board in your current MLM, and I'll see y'all Sunday. See you later.